for this week are beautiful cards. Our beautiful, beautiful cards are the first one is the four of water, which is abundance. So although we're really having a hard time and things are really tight and it seems like nothing's ever going to move again or we're never going to get anywhere or it's not going to, you know, it is coming, my friends. It is coming. Okay, look at this. Look at this beautiful moon and all the flowing river and all the different vessels. See, it's not just one. We, we have many different types of vessels. So it's abundance in all its form. So abundance, when we say abundance, it doesn't just mean money. It's abundance of love. It's abundance of laughter. It's abundance of support. It's abundance of caring. It's abundance of connection. Abundance comes in many, many things. So with our beautiful abundance, and this one here is from our beautiful native tarot, um, the next one we got was our beautiful great bear. Okay, so we all know the bear is powerful, powerful medicine and healing. But look, he's not just a beautiful healer of the great north and of the people and of the land and a beautiful protect. Look at him protect the space. So this is the message I we were getting this week is yes, there is abundance. You just need to change your point of view, change your perspective on things. See, be in the here and now. Be grateful for what you have and all you do have in your life right now. Even though things aren't perfect and things aren't open and we're still having a tough time, be in the moment, guys, and protect yourselves. Protect your medicine. Protect your home. Use your medicines. Call on the great bear. Call on the great mother bear to come in and protect and, and, and support and encourage you. And once we're getting through this, this is, I, I was giggling last night. I tried to post these videos. Like I said, I had done it last night. I did a video of the land. Um, I, I, I did a walkthrough of the property. I even did one of the card readings, but for some reason they just simply will not allow me to post on anything that belongs to Lillian. That's Facebook jail. You know, not her fault. She didn't do anything wrong. Um, it's just, you know, it is what it is for 30 days. She's locked out. So they're not allowing me. If I post there, they're going to lock me out too. Yeah, so we're going to do it this way. So the next one we got, my friends, was the Kundalini Rising. Okay, so when we have our Kundalini Rising. Yeah. Okay, mom needs her glasses. <laughs> uh, ah, you see, it goes right along with our abundance and our medicine. The Kundalini, because see, I understand the Kundalini rising is the, is the mating. It is the, the intertwining of the two serpents that come up the back of the spine, okay, where our, 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 our spiritual energy is. And it is, the, it is the intertwining and the rebalancing of the male-female. So this is about igniting your passions. Okay, so this is not the time to give up, my friends. Look at this beautiful card. Look at the fire in it. Look at the balance of light and dark. Okay, so this is really, really about staying balanced, protecting your energy, protecting your medicine and your space, being grateful for what we have so we can call forth more abundance. And if we can figure out how to do all this, okay, and this is where it relates to me also, because we're bringing it all into form. All right. This means we're creating it in this now time reality. So running through the rain, barefoot, playing in the stars. Okay. Look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So this is what this week is about. Okay, this week is about being grateful for the abundance we already have so we can bring in more, protecting our energy. Please protect your energy and your medicines and going back to your traditional medicines. You know, stop searching out there in the chemical. Go back to the natural. And when we manage to do this, we actually, you know, help reunite, reunite the male-female, the kundalini energy, the double serpent healer, the helix. Okay, and once all this is done, then we can bring into this 3D, you know, although we're coming into the 5D world, we're still in 3D energy. So this is where we create and bring it into our beautiful 3D and we create, bring it into form, which means bring it into the physical, make it real. 
okay? So these are our cards for the week. Um, this is our energy for the week. This is what, you know, this is your heads up. This is what to look for. Um, a little note before I leave, before we call it an evening, because I'm very tired right now, um, is one thing I did realize so many of us are stuck in that 3D because of this pandemic, because we're locked in, because we're we're unconnected, because we're we're lonely, we're isolated. And we have gone back into that fear ego. And all I'm hearing is, oh my God, I'm fat. Oh my God, I'm chubby. Oh my God, I don't look good. Oh my God, oh my God. And I say, hey, no, you're not. You are falling into the fear ego of society telling you you're not perfect enough. That's not true. This here, this here, this here, this here, this little belly here, this is real. This is me. It is who I am. And you know what? I'm almost 60. So I don't expect my body to be perfect anymore. I'm in good health. Even though I'm in a lot of pain and I, I suffer from great illnesses, I still manage to get up every day and do what I need to do. I still manage to take care of my 14 gardens, cut my grass, take care of my puppies, run my business, do my stuff. But that's also by respecting myself and stepping back and going, okay, I need a break. And knowing when to take the break and let myself heal and ground again. But stop being so critical of yourselves and of others. Okay, we're going to be coming out of this COVID soon. They're going to start opening up. Even on the Quebec side here, we're opening starting Monday. We're lifting the restrictions. We're allowed to move around more on this, you know, non-essential businesses can open again. So thank you God we can open again too. But uh, yeah, so it's like a, you stay out of the critical guys. Stay out of the criticizing and the judgment. It's all from society. Okay, it has nothing to do with the true beauty of you. Your true beauty is not this outside skin. This is just, this is just, you know, this is just the, 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 the suitcase we travel in through this, through this journey, this part of the journey. It is not who you are. Who you are is that beautiful, beautiful, bright, shining, loving, caring, compassionate individual inside. That is who you are. It has nothing to do with how you look outside. So stop criticizing yourself. Stop getting down on yourself. Stop judging yourself. And stop saying you're not good enough. Because you are. Okay? So for this week, my friends, short and sweet, we love you. We'll be back next week. And hopefully we'll figure out how to be able to post there most of the summer as I keep going up. I'm going to show you step by step how much all the work's coming, how the land's coming, what we're doing. And I will draw... I, I, I will draw a, a map, like a, a, a picture. I will pencil it out and I will draw it and add the colors so you can see the vision that I have. Okay, so you can see the vision and see what it is we're trying to create and build here. When we build Solid Winds Healing Lodge, the permanent space on unceded Algonquin land. Okay, so till next week, my friends. Love you, love you, love you. From my heart to yours, love and light blessings. Be good to each other.